Hello Oak Class and welcome to our RE lesson for this week. We're going to be looking at this question for the next few weeks. It says, what is the good news Christians say Jesus brings? Okay, and we're going to be thinking about this just like we would in school, like a learning journey. So first of all, we need to think about our question and what it means. So today we're going to be exploring our new learning question to find out what we already know and to see what we need to learn next in order to answer it. Okay, so here's our question, children. Let's read it once more together. What is the good news Christians say Jesus brings? And what's this on the end? That's right, a question mark, because we're asking a question. So if we were in school, we would stop now and think of some actions to help us remember this question, wouldn't we? So if you want to do that, it's a really fun thing to do to help you remember our question. And you can do that now if you like. And if you really want to challenge yourself, you could send me a video of your actions. I would love to see. So once you've done that, I would like you to pause the video and have a look at this question which parts of it are important and which words do you know already? Have a think. Okay, so I've had a little think and I think that this part's going to be very important. Can you read it for me? G, u, d, good, n, news, news, good news. What is the good news that's going to be important? Christians say, well I think that might be important as well because actually we're talking about Christians and not all people. We're talking about what Christians think, aren't we? And some people won't agree. Well, that's going to be important. And this word here I think is going to be important as well. I know that this is an important name, Jesus, but I don't know very much about that person. So in fact, I'm going to use a different colour to highlight Jesus because I don't know very much about him, you see. Okay, so these three parts of our question are going to be very important and we need to think about what they actually mean. So I would like you children to find a new piece of paper, a clean page in your RE book and you're going to be getting a chance to come and get an RE book from school if you need one. So a new page on in your RE book and I'd like you to write this question. Year one children you might need a bit of help from a grown-up to write this question because it's quite long and year two children if you'd like to challenge yourself you can write it for yourself. Okay so this question what is the good news Christians say Jesus brings in the middle of your page and then come back to me. Okay, children, so hopefully you've got that question in the middle of your page and you might even underline it as well like we have here. And then you're going to highlight this part here either in coloured pencil very lightly over the top or you can underline it like this, okay? Good news. And I want you to pause the video and have a think about what that means to you. Do you know anything about good news? Have you had any good news recently? Who brings good news to you? Have a think. Okay, well, I've been thinking about that, the idea of good news, and I think that good news makes us feel hopeful, doesn't it? Hopeful that things will get better. So that's what I'm going to write, because at the moment, we all need a bit of hope, don't we? that things will get better and hopefully we'll have some good news very soon. So I'm going to write oh, hopeful, finger space, that things will get better. Because that's how I feel when I get a piece of good news. I think, oh gosh, things are going to get better now. That's exciting. So you have a think about what good news means for you and write it down. It might be the same as me. 
And you might even challenge yourself to think of a few examples of good news. And I've got one here, it says, my cat is healthy because I took my cat to the vet very recently and I was very pleased to hear the good news from the vet that she was very healthy. Okay, so have a think about what good news means to you. Maybe you can think of some examples of good news or maybe you want to think about who brings good news to you. Okay, so pause the video and make a few notes. You'll notice, children, that I don't necessarily need to use a capital letter and a full stop because these are just notes. They're not proper sentences. They're just little ideas. Okay? Okay, so now you've thought about some ideas, we're going to look at this word here. And this word says Christians, doesn't it? So I want you to pause the video here, maybe talk to a grown-up. What is a Christian? We've learnt that at school, haven't we? What is a Christian? Okay, children, so I've just come on a children's dictionary website and I have looked up the word Christian. Let's listen to it. Christian. Christian or Christian, okay. And it says here there's lots of different uh, definitions, different meanings of the word, quite similar to one another, but we're going to look at this word as a noun, a naming word, okay, for a type of person. And we can say that a Christian is a member of a Christian church, okay, or somebody that believes in Jesus Christ and follows his words and teachings. So a Christian, as I'm sure you remembered from school, is somebody who believes in Jesus. Okay, so we can write somebody who believes in Jesus. Now, if you're in year two, some, you will know that word, that, that tricky word, some. And if you're in year one, take notes because it's a year one tricky word. So it sounds like this. Ah, oh, mm, doesn't it? But that doesn't look right, does it? Sum. No, that's when we're talking about sums in maths. It actually looks like this, which is so funny because when you see that, you might think, ah, s, o, m, so. But that's not how we say that word. We say sum. Okay, so sum body. B -od. E on the end of a word is a Y letter, isn't it? Somebody who, another year one tricky word, who believes, believes, believes in God and Jesus. Okay? And you'll notice, children, that I've got some capital letters because these are special names, aren't they? God and Jesus. Okay, so we've thought about what good news means to us and what we know about it already. And we've thought about what we know already about Christians. And now we want to think about this word here, Jesus. Now I'll be honest, children, I don't know very much about Jesus. So I want you to pause the video and think about what you already know about Jesus. It might not be very much at all, because last time we talked about Jesus, we were thinking about the Christmas story when Jesus was born, okay? So we don't know very much yet about his life after he was born. Have a think about what you know about him already. Okay, so maybe, children, maybe you go to church with your family and you know a little bit more, or maybe you don't, and you know what we learned about Jesus with the Christmas story. So I'm, I, I'm going to think about this. And I know that Jesus was born at Christmas, wasn't he? So that's what I'm going to write. Jesus, capital letter Miss Lyons. This is going to be a proper sentence. Jesus, finger space, was, another year one tricky word, born at, now this is a year two tricky word, Christmas. Christmas. And it's funny because it's, starts with the same letters as the word Christians. Jesus was born at Christmas, full stop. Okay, so that's what I know about Jesus, but I don't know very much more about him. Okay, so I think we need to find out a little bit more about him. 
So here's what I'd like you to do. Pause the video and make sure that you've taken some notes about these different bits of the question, thinking about what you already know, and then come back and we will find out some more about Jesus. Okay, children, so I'm going to show you a video clip and we're going to learn a little bit more about what Jesus was like and where he grew up. So I want you to be really listening carefully and trying to listen out for some facts about Jesus. Jesus grew up in a town called Nazareth. He probably wore sandals and long robes. And he probably had dark skin with a beard and dark eyes. But nobody really knows what he looked like. He lived in a small house where his mother would grind corn and bake bread and animals would be kept nearby. Jesus learned to be a carpenter. I bet he was really strong. Many people who met Jesus could see that he must be someone special. They believed that when he was with them, it meant that God was with them. He told them that it didn't matter who you were, God cared for you and forgave you for things you'd done wrong. I wish I'd met him. So children, we've had a look at that video and learned a little bit more about Jesus and now we're going to have a go at a second task. So if you've had enough of RE for now, you can pause and come back to it another time when you want to do the second task. Okay, so it's up to you. You can take a break, come back another day or you can carry on. Okay, so I would like you to put the word Jesus in the middle of your page because we're going to do a spider diagram to record some of the new facts that we know about Jesus. And this will be really useful because we can come back to it later and use it to help us remember what we've learnt about Jesus. Now, there is a worksheet on Class Dojo that looks very similar to this one. So if you want to print it off or write on it on your screen, then you can do that. Or if you want to use your RE book, then that's okay as well. Okay, so Jesus goes in the middle of your page, remembering that he's got a capital letter for his name, just like you do. Okay, so there are four different boxes here because we are going to write four different facts that we learned about Jesus from the video. So, I'd like you to pause the video now, talk to your grown-up. What can you remember from that video about Jesus? Remember, you can go back and look at the video again if you need to. Now, I remember that he was from a small town called Nazareth. Did you remember that? Yes, yeah, so I can say Jesus was from Nazareth. That's my sentence. I'm going to say it again. Jesus was from Nazareth, full stop. One more time for luck. Jesus was from Nazareth, full stop. Now, if you're in year two, you could make that sentence better. Jesus was from a small town called Nazareth, perhaps, but I'm going to stick with mine. So, Jesus, I know how to spell that word because it's right in front of me. Capital J, Miss Lyons. Jesus. I'm going to sit my letters on this line here, if I can. Jesus, there we are, Jesus, finger space, was from f -r -o -m, Nazareth. Now it's a place name, so I need a capital letter. N -a -z -a -r -s, Nazareth. What do I need on the end of a sentence? 
a full stop. Brilliant. Jesus was from Nazareth, full stop. Brilliant. Let's do one more together. So pause the video again and think, what do you know about Jesus from that video? Thinking about what he might have looked like. Well, he might have had dark skin and he might have had a beard. So I'm going to ha say, Jesus had dark skin and a beard. One more time. Jesus had dark skin and a beard. So again, I've started with Jesus, sitting my letters on the grey line there. Jesus had a d. A d. And you can see that my tall letters are coming up to this top blue line and my short letters are coming down to the bottom blue line. Jesus had dark d. Arc. Dark hair. How many sounds in hair? Two sounds. <sighs> Air trigraph. Jesus had dark hair and, sticky word, and a beard. And a b beard. Full stop. Okay. Jesus had dark hair and a beard. Full stop. So, I would like you to finish off your spider diagram. Maybe you're going to use some of my ideas, or maybe you're going to think of your own sentences, okay? Using capital letters and full stops, and making sure that you're really thinking about where you're placing your letters on the lines, okay? So, activity one, children, let's just recap. We thought about our question and we made some notes, didn't we, about the important parts. Activity two is this spider diagram where we record what, we, what we've just learnt about Jesus today, okay? So, two activities, you can do them at any time during the week. Good luck and enjoy. See ya!